Welcome back. Now, weather.com is reporting that we are having the coldest Arctic outbreaks since the 1990s. And of course, there's record cold in Chicago. That's not as significant, however, as what we see happening in the Arctic. And the irony that these global warming scientists who went up there to report about the vanishing ice cap have been stranded along with their rescuers. And of course, Al Gore told us that this would all be gone by now. There would be no Arctic ice cap. But even more significant is the fact that there hasn't been any global warming for 17 years now. It's actually been a cooling trend, even though we've had an increase in carbon dioxide. So it shows that their models have failed. It shows that the myth of man-made global warming is not happening. With record low temperatures all over the United States and icebreakers getting stuck in well ice, I think now is a good time to revisit some of the top quotes from the top climate change cheerleader Al Gore himself. Quote number five, here's the truth. The earth is round. Saddam Hussein did not attack us on 9-11. Elvis is dead. Obama was born in the United States. And the climate crisis is real. This is a common tactic used by people who are trying to con you. They'll take something factual such as the earth being round and tie that into something that's not exactly proven, in this case being climate change. Quote number four, this is back in 2006. Many scientists are now warning that we are moving closer to several tipping points that could, within as little as 10 years, make it impossible for us to avoid irrevertible damage to the planet's habitability for human civilization. Quote number three, the planet has a fever. If your baby has a fever, you go to the doctor. If the doctor says you need to intervene here, you don't say, well, I read a science fiction novel that told me it's not a problem. If the crib's on fire, you don't speculate that the baby is flame retardant, you take action. CO2 is the exhaling breath of our civilization, literally. Changing that pattern requires a scope, a scale, a speed of change that is beyond what we have done in the past. And as the author points out, without carbon dioxide, life would cease to exist on this planet. And for our number one quote, let's hear it from Al Gore himself. Uh, some of the models suggest to Dr. Maslowski that there is a 75% chance that the entire North Polar Ice Cap during summer, during some of the summer months could be completely ice free within the next five to seven years. Not only did that not happen, but we actually have more ice in that particular location. So whether it's polar bears can't swim or giant sucking sounds are a good deal, when they try to con you, just sit back, call their bluff, and keep your money to yourself. You can find more reports at Infowars.com. Jakari Jackson here, and I want to talk to you for a second about water. You know about ProPure, our flagship water purification system, but check out some of our portable water filter products at InfoWarsStore.com, the clearly filtered water pitcher. Also, for those of you on the go, we have the Athlete Edition filtered water bottle and the RAD Eliminator Pro Filtered Sports Bottle that removes radiation. And keep in mind, we have replacement filters for all of these products. The ever popular grab and go bag favorite, the Life Straw, the Crystal Quest shower filter system, and the Aquapod kit, great for mass storage of water. And while you're at the InfoWars shop, pick up a copy of our latest book, 31 Days to Survival. You can find all this and more at the InfoWarsStore.com. And don't forget, it's your support that funds our operation. Sign up for our free newsletter at InfoWars.com forward slash newsletter.